Hi friends, today I am with the Samsung Galaxy M42 5G and this is the latest smartphone by Samsung launched a month ago and we are going to discuss why still it is a very good phone to buy uh, in the price range and also what is it is going to offer. So have a little patience because this video may, might be a little bit longer than you expect. So check out the description section for the timestamp of the relevant topics you want to check it out. So talking about the design, it has a very glossy finish at the back, it has a 4 camera with LED flash and the side we are getting the power button and the volume rocker key. The power button is a normal button and we are also getting the in display fingerprint sensor. It has a 6.6 .6 inch HD plus display, yes it doesn't have a full HD plus display but it has a HD plus display with super AMOLED screen, it has a 20 to 9 aspect ratio on the side you can see the power and the volume rocker keys. About the processor, it comes with the Octa processor 750G with the Adreno 619. Uh, GPU. In the top we are getting a noise cancellation mic, on the side we are getting a hybrid SIM slot, it has a two SIM slot, either you can use that or I can either you can use one SIM slot and one expandable memory. So this is on the one side which is definitely a good thing because uh, everyone doesn't want to expand the memory, it is already coming with 128GB internal storage. If we go to the bottom side we can see the speakers which is a Dolby speakers and also there is a 3.5 mm jack with the type c charging and the noise cancellation mic if we talk about the display it comes with the drop notch display on the top here you can see the speaker grills also uh, which is very minutely can be seen now talking about the device it names as samsung galaxy m42 5g but i will also show you the 5g network mode here you can see 5g 4g lte 3g 2g so definitely 5g is available but currently there is no spectrum available so you can't access the 5g in any network in your smartphone the good thing is that it is a future proof smartphone if you talk about the software it is running on android 11 with one ui 3.1 and here i will definitely like to show you the software information here you can see android 11 is running out of the box and the best part is that it gets a proper update i'm using some of the old samsung devices and samsung is very definitive here you can see the last android patch came on 1 april 1st april 2021 if we talk about the ram and the rom it comes with the 6 gb of ram 128 gb of storage which is the model we are using there is another model with 8 gb of ram 256 gb of internal storage so definitely software is one of the most important part when you are getting a software update on a regular basis and the security patches it is definitely a good thing here you can see it comes with the dark mode also there is a screen vivid mode which you can change you can also have an easy mode if your parents and elder members are using you can remove the buttons from the bottom and swipe also it has a samsung pay which definitely we will talk on later which is uh, an additional feature what you are getting in the smartphone if we see i have put the navigation bar switched off and there is a edge panel where you can add the apps here you can see you can add multiple apps in this and this is just a shortcut which earlier you used to get only in the s series or the note series so definitely samsung is giving some of the premium software features uh, to the m series a mid-tier segment or a monster smartphone which samsung is calling so here you can see there are other edge panels some are available for purchase also and some are available for free also so this is complete kind of customization what you can do to your edge panel definitely added feature here you can see some colors are also there for the same and you can change the position of the edge panel from where you can drag that out there is also show charging information screen savers can be changed i'm not getting into that you can have some visibility enhancement and definitely i don't recommend you to go and do the changes but if you know you can go and do some changes around now if we talk about the security it comes with the face unlock and in display fingerprint sensor here you can see the face unlock works very smoothly and also the in display fingerprint sensor so this is what you can go and install if you have any problem definitely put as a comment below i will try to explain that separately to you 
but it works very flawlessly and definitely there are some transition you can go and check it out the security patch last came on 1st april which is definitely a big thing because right now i have seen so many brands launching the smartphone but they are not pushing the updates which is definitely bad for the customer in the end after they have purchased a smartphone now coming to the device if you see the notification panel you get pretty much too many things to adjust even you have the data share you also give the nfc nfc is also present in the smartphone there is a dolby atmos we can uh, hear that while you are hearing with the earphones so dolby atmos is not in the speakers you can have the scan core qr code you can change the dark mode a lot of customization given in the notification panel there is also samsung pay from where you can pay directly and don't forget it comes with the nfc chip inside it so definitely pay can be done directly just by touching and nfc works very smoothly you can have a look on the samsung pay now coming to another feature it is the camera coming from the front camera it is 20 megapixel with f2.2 wide angle lens here you can see it comes with the drop notch if we go to the back side of the device there is a four camera setup where the first one is 48 megapixel with f1.8 wide angle then there is a 8 megapixel camera with f2.2 123 ultra wide there is a 5 megapixel macro 5 megapixel depth camera so this is what we are getting if we talk about the camera also the interface is very simple what we have seen earlier the auto focus works very smoothly there is no issue in that I will definitely try to show you some of the image samples what we have taken using this camera so that you guys get a clear picture on that. Here you can see there is a 0.5x, 1x, 2x, 4x and 10x zoom. So there are definitely you can try and take the capture with that. There is a screen optimizer, the yellow one on the right side here you can see. You can switch it off or switch it on. Once you switch it on it will be on yellow color. There is setting, there is also flash, switch on, switch off that. There's a timer, you can change the resolution, you can also take a picture on 48 megapixel but I will remind you that the image quality will be a little better but it will take more storage. There are some filters which you can play it around, you can create also your own filters which is a good thing and there is normal settings which I have already told you here you can see there is also face so this is the color what you can choose, you can try it out different filters and uh, there is a mode called single take i will show you how it works uh, and it comes only in the samsung camera so samsung is definitely putting out something different and it will take some time to capture it so don't move too much move a little bit but not too much but here i will show you one more thing it will take some time once it is done it will also show you that this is a single take shot when you pull up it has some filters it will show you some mini short videos of 9 seconds or 4 seconds something like that which you can play it and check it out if you want for that but uh, this is a great way to capture uh, the image also with some filters with different angles and each and everything you just don't have to do anything point and shoot that's it just that's it so this mode is helpful when you want to capture in a rush and you don't want to miss short videos also and the picture mode also now coming to the video normal video mode uh, I will try to show you I think you can see that it can record up to full HD and here you can see there is full HD and also 4k recording is present in the smartphone so you have a 4k recording full HD and SD recording in the video from the back end if you come to the front side front side also you can shoot full HD and SD there is no 4k recording for that and in the uh, normal photo also you have ultra wide and a wide angle shot so these are what you are getting in the mode from the front side and there is also more now if we go to the in the more here you can see some of the modes this includes from the back and the front side you can switch the mode also you can change and shuffle them according to your need there is a ar zone where you can customize and make your own ar doodle there is a big tree vision which is just google lens rename so you can try that out and play with it also there is a panorama mode pro mode there is a portrait mode where you can change the aperture also there is also macro mode night mode super slow mo slow mo time lapse food mode and there is a pro mode with panorama so there are complete too many things which you can play it around you can shuffle the modes also that what are the preference you like them 
I have captured some pictures using this device and you can see the images. This is a normal photo mode. Uh, this is a normal 0.5x in the mode where we have getting ultra mode. There is a 1.0x, 1x. This is a 2x image. Now I have tried to take an the 4x here. You can see the picture image gets a little bit deteriorated. This is the 10x. So you can see the image once it is getting zoomed. This is a portrait image and uh, also after that here you can see the detailing this is by the default camera shot and i like the image so i just put that out it is the sdr image shot this is a macro camera we have tried with the macro camera and also and it came out well don't forget that it comes with the 5 megapixel macro camera this is a night mode uh, which is exceptionally good what i will say because it was raining at the time when i captured this is after screen optimization and this is with the screen optimizer this is the normal selfie what i have taken and after that here you can see wide angle selfie and now i will show you a portrait selfie this is a portrait one now this one is the beauty mode on and lastly what i am taken is the beauty mode with ultra wide here now you can see the super slow motion video here Now coming to the gaming, we have a game launcher. We can go directly and check it out. Without gaming, you can't complete with a smartphone. And there's a game launcher where it has all the details of the gaming. And if you have the navigation bar on the bottom, you can go directly to the game booster. Else you will get that in the notification panel. Here you can see the game booster, just drag and drop. And you can change the settings. You can go to the settings. Uh, where you can change the screen resolution aspect ratio here I will show you the game booster this can be customized whatever you want auto screen lock on uh, shortcuts floating shortcuts also sc screenshot resolution which you can change 100% format also can be changed uh, recording resolution can be also changed and uh, using microphone when recording so there are few things which you can do full screen apps is also present and this is all about the game booster what you are getting i will show you this was the setting in the game booster but if i go there is currently downloading tapping again to the game booster right now uh, let me go back to the game booster here it will tell you how much battery is left how much time you can play if you want on a priority mode you can block all the notification and everything coming while you are playing just give the access to the game booster and here you can see the priority mode is currently on and it will be actually DND, do not disturb. Uh, I have again a switch of the priority mode just to tell you that how you can do that. Now I am just showing you the gameplay on COD and Free Fire on Samsung Galaxy M42 5G. So just enjoy the gameplay mini clip. <laughs> Graphic quality of uh, the game while gaming uh, on COD was graphic quality was very high and frame rate was also very high. Here you can see the geek benchmark score and I will also show you the 3D mark score, the performance. It comes with the 5000 mAh battery with 15 watt fast charging. I have tried and played the game for 40 minutes and uh, the battery drop was nearly 7%.
So this is a fully packed smartphone. It weighs around 190 gram. It will be coming in two color: Prisma dot black and Prisma dot grey. And the, uh, we are having a 6 GB, 128 GB model, which is priced around 21,000 triple nine, which is around 22,000. And the 8 GB, 128 GB model is priced for 23,000 triple nine, which is 24,000. Both models will be available on Amazon dot in. So this is all about the Samsung Galaxy M42 5G and why you should buy this smartphone. If you have any more suggestions, just drop down in that comment section. We will try to read and answer them if it is possible. And also, this is all in this video. This is Vivin signing off. Please like the video, share the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us.